Hello again, this is Sean Ivancic with Maserati Alfa Romeo of St. Petersburg. I'm going to do a short tutorial today on how to use the Mercedes-Benz command system. For years, Mercedes has had this little knob right here. What this knob does is it allows you to turn, twist, push it in to select, controls the screen up here, and you've got many buttons here. You've got your navigation, radio, media, telephone. So you don't have to use this, which you know displays everything up here. You can see it says navigation, radio, media, telephone, vehicle. Those same buttons are right here. So you don't have to worry about that. If you still want to use it, it's there. So let's go ahead and go into navigation. So I'm going to select the navigation button right here. It takes us right to the map. Notice that there's no commands, there's no call to action on the screen. So here's uh, what you do. You press down on the command, your menu shows up. The bottom right, it says destination, address entry, from contacts, POIs, using map, Mercedes-Benz app, geo coordinates. You've got many different ways that you can enter a destination in. You can look at traffic options, check out the options itself, route settings, map orientation. You have 3D mapping, so if you're in a large city, it'll actually show you the buildings that you're around, the shape, the size, everything in proportion, um, announcements like notifications. So that's how the navigation works. You've got your radio next. So you, with, with your radio, you can obviously go through the different stations if you have satellite. Press radio again, it takes you to the band. You can change the bands. So there's AM, there's Sirius, there's FM. Next button is the media. This is really unique. You've got your media here. So you've got your Bluetooth audio. You've got your changer, which is located in here. It's hiding usually behind the cup holder. There's the cup holder. There's the tray. So you've got your CD changer. Then you've got your memory card. If you want to insert that, memory card is inserted right here. And then you've got your audio and video files that you've saved to the car. No devices are connected for the Bluetooth audio. The next one's the telephone. So we're going to hit this, see where it says telephone. No phone's connected because I didn't pair my phone to the car since we're doing this. Uh, but one thing you'll notice right here, pull back on that, there's your telephone. You can dial your numbers here. As soon as you just barely touch the, barely touch the top of it, you'll notice one, four, eight, two, see I'm scrolling over it like this. It's a light touch, so you can dial the number. It has voice control too, so if somebody calls, you can press this to answer the call. You can press this to dial out, like say call home, call mom, call the wife, call Mike, whoever. So you can use the voice command, it's very intuitive. And that's how the Mercedes-Benz command works. This is pretty much on every vehicle now, so whether you're in an S class, a C class, or an E, if it has this, we have an absolute how-to video for you. Give me a call, this car is available for sale. It's a 2014 S550 with 7,000 miles. Uh, you can save some money. If you have any questions, if you want me to do a demo on something else, let me know. I'm happy to do it. We've got every vehicle available to us. And thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe below.